In this video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and a review of a five meter pro model from Stout 10. I run a glamorous camping business in Minneapolis and Phoenix, and I wanted to see about whether or not Stout Tent would be a great option for my business to utilize as our primary manufacturer. So while this video is not sponsored by them, they did send this tent to me for free. So this is an honest review of this tent. The first thing that I noticed when I got this was the really cool box. This is different than all the other tent manufacturers that I've seen. It includes this kind of a cool graphic right here. And on the outside, looks like we have some instructions right here that they provided. When you open it up, it's a trifold to three different pages. Also, this is really cool. Looks like they have a QR code that you can scan to actually watch a video on how to set up your tent. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the tent, being very careful not to cut the tent or the tent bag. So in my experience, Typically the tent and the poles will get shipped separately, but in this, I only got one package. So I'm assuming based on the package size and the weight that the tent and the poles will both be inside this one package. So whenever you get your tent, typically it will come in a really tightly compacted bag, just like this. And over time, the, the tents, as they get used more and more, they're actually gonna take up more space. It's like when you get packaging for like an air mattress. Obviously it comes really tightly compacted, but you can probably never get that bed back into the box. It looks like just based on the first glance that it is a little bit small of a bag and it doesn't actually allow too much extra space. Before I open it up, I really wanna take a look at things like the tent bag quality. It does seem like a pretty thick and durable bag. That's really important when you're gonna be moving your tent around every day or every other day when you're picking up and dropping off your tents at to and from the location. So the tent bag is, for a functionality standpoint, is really important to be really high quality. And just based on the first glance, it is a heavy duty canvas. I will say that the zipper quality, while it feels good, it doesn't feel like the best. It is nice that it glides really well and it seems pretty solid, though it's not the best zipper that I've ever experienced. So now that I look at the outside of the tent, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So when you first open up your tent, looks like we have right here, these will be our tent poles. It's nice that it has the, it has the stitching on here with the Stout Tent logo, as well as the website. On the inside, it seems like there's this waterproof material, and then on the outside is 100% canvas. So this is a really, really nice pull bag, tent pull bag. The next thing I find is the tent ropes. I will note that these have metal tensioners. In my experience with Canvas Camp, they have usually been plastic, which haven't been a problem with us, but this seems like possibly pretty nice. So I'm curious to see how this works when I'm actually setting up and pitching out the tent. The rope quality, very, very thick, seems really durable, doesn't feel very cheap. And the next thing in the bag is the steak bag. Also has the Stout Tent logo, that's really cool. This bag feels a lot heavier than a Canvas Camp steak bag. These steaks are a lot more heavy duty, a lot more durable, and that is why they feel so much heavier. Now let's get to the tent. So this is really neat. They actually have on the outside, wrapped up around the tent, are these little pulleys. So you can actually get the tent to be really small for when you're packing it and stowing it away. So that might be the reason why the tent bag is a lot smaller. So now I've got the tent all unrolled. A couple things that I just noticed as I was first setting up this tent. The canvas feels really nice, but the biggest thing I'll note, the ground sheet, which is this bottom part right here, it feels a lot more lightweight. This feels more like a plastic, I'm not gonna say less quality, but it's definitely a lighter weight feeling. I do believe that Canvas Camp uses actual rubber on their higher end ProTech models. In my experience, that has worked and held up really, really well when I'm setting up tents on dirt or rocks. So this here, is the ground sheet stake. So this is actually what's gonna hold the base of the tent into the ground. My first observation, the difference between this stake and one you would get from Canvas Camp is that the stake is actually pointed. That is really, really nice. I set up a lot of tents in Phoenix and a lot of the times the ground is extremely hard and extremely tough. 
So that would probably help. Now I'll go ahead and pull out the actual tent supports. So this feels like a heavy duty stake. They created these stakes to have these points. Also like the smaller ones, I would imagine that when the tent is set up with this, you can have 60 mile an hour winds and that tent's not going anywhere. So now they have the tent all staked out, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the pole bag and get an initial review and thoughts on the actual tent poles. As I'm pulling this out, I'm noticing that these tent poles are really thick. So there's four tent poles and they looks like they all snap together. On each side, there are these rubber feet. This helps prevent the tent from getting damaged to, due to the pole, as well as the top canvas. I do like that these do not come off. If these were to come off, this is a disaster because if that doesn't exist on the canvas tent when I'm setting it up, I could puncture the ground sheet or even the canvas if one of these gets missing. I'll also point out that there is a loop right here. This is really nice if you're hanging any lights, any chandeliers, uh, any lanterns, things of that nature. So now I'll go ahead and unzip the front door and put the pole in. Now that I've got the center pole up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the A-frame together. When I put together the A-frame, which is the door poles, I like to keep it completely unassembled until I get inside. So now I've got the center pole put up and the A-frame pole put up. And it went together really quickly. That took me all a matter of two minutes. And it's all put together and it's ready to be staked out. All right, so I have the tent mostly pitched out. I just need to pull the support ropes to actually pull out the tent and give it its full shape. So again, Stout Tent utilizes these metal tensioners. These may work just as good, if not better. My only fear is that they would put an unnecessary amount of tension on the ropes, which may cause them to wear out a little bit sooner than if it was with plastic. However, I'm gonna actually tension this for the first time and see how well it glides. So that was actually not too bad. Uh, it didn't feel like it was overly difficult. It might just be something that I'm not used to and therefore feels a little bit weird. But one thing I will note as well is that these ropes actually have reflected material in them. So at nighttime, these little strings inside the rope are actually reflectors. So that is actually pretty cool that they built that into the ropes. So I just finished up tightening out all the ropes. As I was setting up the tent, there was a few things that I noticed. First, is that these stakes that actually hold the tent ground sheet in place, these are perfect size and I love that they have a pointed tip. Second, the actual canvas support stakes are massive, almost too big. I can't actually get the whole stake into the ground. And even if I did, it would almost be too much support. Now, if you're gonna be setting these up to be stationary year round, these might be great options. So now I'll open up the door and take you on the inside and show you what that looks like. So what's really nice is that this canvas part and this mesh part behind it can both get rolled up or you can actually just roll the canvas. And as you roll it up, you'll notice that there's these little plastic, little, I don't even know what they're called, little loop things here. So when you pull the canvas back, what I do like is I just noticed this is that there's two of them. So you can loop down at the bottom and you can loop down up at the top. So now I'm gonna enter the tent. As we go in, you'll notice that this tent is spacious. It's big. This is five meters, which is approximately 16 feet by 16 feet. This tent can easily fit four twin size beds. It can fit a queen and I believe it can also fit two full-size beds. So the five meter tent should give you all the room that you need for your glamping. This is the stove insert. So you can actually put a wood burning stove inside these tents. And Stout Tent actually already includes this seal here to keep the canvas safe for when you're doing that. There's one little detail in this tent that I really like that I didn't observe until I looked a little closer. They actually have a little square which shows you where the tent pole should go. So that's in a little detail that they included to help you set up your tent quickly and set it up properly. Let me know what you think about this tent in the comments. I would love to know your feedback or your questions about this type of tent. And if you're interested in getting this, I'm, I've linked the tent below. And a big shout out and thank you to Stout Tents for sending this tent to me at no charge and letting me check it out and review it. And I look forward to seeing you on another video.